Hey everyone, it's Ryan with Transfer Protocol. I'm back with another video. Um, in this video, I am going to release a prophetic message that I believe God placed on my heart uh, just before filming this video. Normally, um, now before I get into um, the prophetic message, I'm gonna share with you guys how my day started today. Um, basically, my day started um, a little off kilter. Um, again, you know, I, I've been in a wilderness season, uh, just trusting God um for the different things that he's doing in my life and um normally i start recording these videos for you guys even if i don't post them i record them when i go on my morning walk uh, but today my schedule is a little bit off i've already done my morning walk and uh i, I was getting ready uh to get in the shower to really start my day uh, with my business stuff um and i know i needed to to read to spend some time with god um again i he had me opened up to jeremiah 26 and then i got in the shower i didn't even think of anything of it um i don't even know if i ever even read this passage of scripture in the bible but as i got in the shower uh one of the first places that god ever spoke to me when i was 17 years old i could remember uh audible voice of god uh was in the shower so um as i was in the shower god began to bring back things to my remembrance about a word that he spoke over my life um, back in 2020. It was right when I began, I guess, this whole wilderness process of, I left uh, my last corporate job and began just following and trusting God uh, for provision and my kingdom assignment. And um, as I was sitting there um, at, the, at the dinner table at my wife's parents' house, um, you know, someone uh, sent like a financial uh, blessing um, to my cash app. And it was like, I won a, I won a contest. Um, and it was really because the way I won the contest, um, as God uh, wants me to share the whole story now, <laughs> the way I uh, won this contest is uh, there was an app called Clubhouse. Um, it came out, um, you know, around that time. And as I was driving, uh, maybe this was uh, a couple of days after I had quit my job. And I'm like, God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do for finance? What am I going to do for provision? And um, I was driving. I was doing Instacart, you know, just to make some extra money. And as I was driving, the Holy Spirit told me to pull over and to enter into uh, this contest that was on Clubhouse that I was going to win. And I was like, this is pretty strange instructions. Like, um, oh, okay, what, whatever. Nevertheless, um, I pulled over. Uh, I followed the instructions. I, I joined the contest and like, by this time tonight, you will win. Uh, um, so I go home and my wife and I, we go over to her parents' house and we're sitting at the dinner table. And uh, the person who was running the contest sent me a message and say, hey, what's your cash app? Um, you won the contest. Um, and again, this was this was a right on time uh, financial uh, seed that I needed to uh, begin working on some projects that I was going to be working on and actually just get by. Um, I had just, you know, walked away from uh, from my job. So um, um, the word that the Lord spoke that day is the same word that he's uh, speaking right now, and which is tell the truth. Um, I think sometimes uh, as Christians, this is a pretty obvious thing. We should be telling the truth all the time. Um, but it's, it's something that I know some people struggle with uh, being vulnerable and, and telling the truth. And it's interesting that um, I thought, at least um, when I felt that God was leading me to, to record this video, that um, he would be leading me to scripture about, um, you know, that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony, um, like telling the truth in your testimony, because that's, there's so much power in your testimony, which I will be sharing um, in a video later today. Um, as well, but uh, he led me to, to Jeremiah 26, and in this passage, we see the prophet Jeremiah um, has a, a has a prophecy um, that's different from the prophecy that uh, people are saying um, over the children of Israel, and it's uh, it's a message that's almost like a doom and gloom uh, kind of message, and so the people are ready to to kill. Jeremiah for speaking the truth that came from God. So I'm just going to challenge you, um, whatever God has placed in your heart, 
um, to tell the truth in. I feel the Holy Spirit is going to be putting um, his finger on certain areas in your life that you need to be honest in. Maybe it's um, in your finances, maybe your husband and you need to tell the truth about your financial situation with your wife. Maybe you're uh, on here, maybe you're here on here on YouTube and you're, um, you're, you're, you're looking for a way to, uh, to grow your business and grow your life. And, you know, God is just calling you to tell the truth. Um, I believe that we're living in a season, um, and time where, um, one of the reasons why we call this channel transfer protocol is God is raising new voices. And I believe, um, inside the church, there are certain sins and there are certain things that have gone on behind closed doors that we have not talked about. And I think one of the ways that healing is brought and restoration um, is brought to the body is by us beginning to tell the truth. So um, I just want you guys to analyze your life. Um, are there any areas that you're not telling the truth in? Or are there, are there any areas that you could be telling the truth in? Maybe you're a person who in a marriage and maybe there was some infidelity in your marriage and you guys survived the infidelity. Um, that situation wasn't just for you. I know sometimes um, people may, let's say you may get prideful and or you wanna be private about the things that happen in your life and those things happen in your life for you to help somebody else survive and get through. Uh, maybe you're a person and you struggle uh, financially. Maybe you're a person who struggle with self-esteem or um, low self-esteem uh, issues. And uh, now that God has healed you, now that God has blessed you, um, he just wants you to tell the truth. What, what has God done for you? I know specifically for myself, um, I'll share in another video, uh, again, just more of my own personal testimony, but uh, dealing with issues and struggling with things like pornography. Uh, you know, God has healed me um, in that area and restored me in that area. And uh, again, I think that a lot of these weird areas, uh, especially when they get to real personal matters, we're afraid to share with other people. And we have no idea how many other people are set free by us just walking up into telling them the truth about our own story. So I'm gonna challenge you guys today, tell the truth um, in every single situation in your life and watch God show up for you today. So be blessed, be encouraged. And I am praying for you guys. Again, if this word meant something to you, um, I, I'm so happy and blessed by you guys' support and your comments. Um, I'm going to leave a comment below this video. There are three ways that you can support this channel and support this ministry uh, as we tell the truth and do what God has called us to do um, in the face of adversity. So uh, with that being said, I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.